try to do natural. Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be doing an unboxing on the Canon G7X Mark II. Uh, I ended up purchasing this directly from Canon uh, while they were having their refurbished sale. So it was $230 off. But during the sale, there was an additional 10% off and I ended up getting it for $270 off. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I chose the Mark II versus the Mark III. The big one was the focusing issue. Um, they said that they fixed it. I saw a lot of reviews on the comparison of the whole focusing and the it wasn't enough for me to spend that much more money on a Mark III when the $270 savings on the Mark II uh, was going on. So it is refurbished, but it is factory refurbished. So it does come with the one year warranty, which was important to me because I do like buying a lot of my stuff online and I do buy it used. So having the warranty really helped that a lot. So here we go. I'm going to be opening it up for the first time. Okay, very simple. Some paper here to pad it. I can see the shipping documents. Okay. So, comes in this little, you know, not the original packaging, but it is, but it does say PowerShot Vixia, but it does have a label that says PowerShot G7X Mark II refurbished with the serial number. Cool. So let's look inside. All right. Not bad so far. So all your documents, warranty information, more support information, and an original manual. Okay. So all typical stuff that you would expect. But let's see how they package up the camera. Okay, cool. So you do get a, so you get a genuine battery, the MB13L, which is great because I went ahead and I bought myself a second one just in case, because I know they're kind of small batteries, but it does have a lot longer life than the Mark III. And that's just because it does only shoot 1080p uh, versus a Mark III that does 4K vi uh, video. So the 4K video takes up a lot more power. But you get a battery, the charger, and a little hand strap, which is nice. And so for the camera itself, it does come nicely packed in a brick of bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. And the camera itself. Wow. Okay, so no, no protective covers or none of that little like plastic, you know, to peel off. But so far. It looks really clean. So a couple other things why I chose the the Canon uh, 7X Mark II over the 3 was the microphone jack. I know in now in the Mark III they use they have added a microphone jack directly into the camera, but since I like to record with my lavalier mic and I can just put this in my pocket um, the mic jack wasn't that big of a deal for me, so it really wasn't worth the cost. I'm going to go ahead and drop the battery in right now, and it's going to turn it on for the first time. Oh, okay. So it's a tab, not a locking. Okay. 
There we go. Turns on right away. There's a set button. Oh, it's touch screen. Huh. Okay. Oh, has a little pop up flash. And that's just because I don't have a memory card in it right now. But you know what? So far, it looks very clean. I can't wait to go ahead and sit down and play with this a lot more. And of course, you know, the ultimate deciding factor for me to get this one was the uh, flip up screen. You know, uh, I've been using my Olympus EPL, uh, EPL1 since about 2011 and this thing has been with me through many trips to in Germany and Korea and then across the US so now you know with video being more popular this one being able to shoot 1080p at 24 pr frames per second it was definitely time for an upgrade Wow, and it's super fast. Focusing is super sharp. I can see the uh, tracking. I can touch to lock the focus, which is really good because I can lock on to, right now I'm locked on to my coffee cup, and then I can move it and it'll stay locked on to that focus point. All right, before I leave, I just want to give off some of my first impressions. Uh, this camera is so small like I'm just looking this is my EPL one from Olympus and I've been using this for a number of years it's a four-thirds frame camera and just holding on to this one compared to holding on to the G7X the G7X is so much smaller so much lighter and I can understand why so many people use this as their blogging camera um, right now I'm shooting this video on a Sony CX380 uh, I have it quite a distance away so I can get this whole frame. And in this, with the G7X Mark II, I can literally hold the camera away at an arm's length and I can capture this whole background. Not only that, the, one, the F1.8 makes it that my face is really sharp. But then you can see Chloe in the background and she's really blurry. And you get that great bokeh effect versus with the uh seven with the with the CX380. You know, we have that nice wide image, but we don't get any of that bokeh effect. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking a few test shots here and then I'll be able to show you the difference. Uh, so you can actually see the difference in the video. So one thing I had noticed already is this bottom gate. It doesn't have like a self lock. You unlock it and it flips open. And then when you close it, you got to lock it again. So it doesn't have a little catch for itself. For itself. Okay. So I put in a 128 gig. Uh, SD card and let's go ahead and format it Cool, it's registering 119 gigs on a 128 gig graphics card or a 128 gig SD card Which is perfectly fine Oh, Okay, and it has a little cord button And another reason why I chose this camera is because of the uh, image, stabiliz image stabilization. Image stabilization. So as you can see, I'm panning. And very smoothly. And I'm just doing this holding it in my hand. So I'm going to be setting up this camera right here on my desk to be doing recording my blogs or recording any of the other videos I got to do but all right yeah so far it looks really good
Well, thank you for joining me today. I will be going more in depth after I get some time using this camera. Um, so I hope you join me in that video. Uh, as far as it goes, that's all I got. So, Abraham out. No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>